Hi, welcome to Rich Media Design Productions next video and today we're going to feature a, uh, a I guess you would say a, a feature that is called liquify in Photoshop CS5 now I say CS5 because this is the uh, version that I'm using right now but I believe that this particular um, feature of Photoshop does appear in previous versions so uh, you know I, I didn't really do any uh, background check on that to see when it first came out and and if you happen to have older model of, of Photoshop you might not see it but uh, if you have any aspirations to upgrade your Photoshop to CS6 or, or 5 or whatever uh, It'd be a good idea to learn this now uh, before we get started on it um, liquify we're gonna have fun with it it's gonna be a, f a fun thing to kind of mess around with right now but there are some serious applications that, uh, that you can use for it and in fact a lot of um, photo retouchers use it a lot to kind of uh, make things look uh, uh, better for example if a, a person a model is a little too heavy uh, you know uh, on her leg or thigh or whatever uh, hips or whatever might be wrong and they want to you know make it look nicer they use this feature quite a quite a bit so I think that uh, it it does have some serious applications and but we're gonna have fun with it tonight today anyway uh, here let's get into it and here it is over here at uh, filters and it's right here for uh, Photoshop liquify and you're gonna see a big old application window come up and that's basically where you can work from it's kind of like your working station okay here it is if you notice we're using a photograph of a male that uh, which is a counterpart to a female that I use uh, in another another um, uh, lesson and uh, this is kind of a, a uh, uh, averaged Good looking person. They took an average of all the good features that make up a sy sy symmetrical and uh, nice looking, you know, all the all the uh, scientific reasons for having, uh, you know, your eyes at a certain distance and width and eyes that are going to be at a uh, certain length and height and nose and all the other features. And this is what they came up with. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a pretty good uh, representation of what a nice person looks like. You know, I don't know if, if uh, you know, beauty's in the eyes of beholders, I've always said, so it's not going to, you know, appeal to everybody. But anyway, that's what we're going to use. Okay, we're, we're going to use a brush, and it defaults to a brush when you uh, first come into this uh, area. So uh, you're going to want to look over to your right here and see that there's certain things you can do with that brush you can make the brush large here you can actually add the density of the brush you can actually now for those of you who don't know what a density is like how much how much uh whatever you're going to do is going to happen with that brush in other words the more um you know the higher the number the the actual more pressure is going to put it or not pressure because we do have a pressure uh, brush here rate right at 100 and we go on down so let's let's just leave it at 2 to uh, 26 and the brush density at 15 for now because we're just going to have some fun at the beginning here we're not doing anything really serious so it's all about just discovery right so anyway here's one that we're going to use up at the top here it's called if you leave your brush uh, pointer right here it says forward warp and it's kind of like a uh, like if you took your finger and push something on a on like a silly putty or something like that it's gonna actually make that thing move so let's take this ear for example I'm gonna put if you see the cross mark at the center of the of the uh, brush if I pull it's gonna pull it take over here the same application if I took the nose and I spread them out here push this up or push it down I can make this eye a little bit bigger by just stretching it okay 
get this person look looking angry and there you have it there's there's our first uh fooling around having a good time with this face okay now after you've done everything you want to do you want to keep it just say okay on top of there it'll take you right back to your photoshop picture with the changes that you just made and then you can go ahead and save it or do whatever else that you might want to do to it okay but because we're just discovering this feature in photoshop we're going to say restore all you can see reconstruct op options you can say revert now re we're not going to really deal with that you can actually do your own own investigation but for time and the fact that you know we can really spend a lot of time here and but i think a lot of this could be uh discovered on your own at your own um uh, discretion and time okay so we're going to press restore all and you'll see that everything we've done here will get restored and there we have it back now let's move on to the next one we have a brush and that one is called reconstruct tool now I should have left maybe one of them done here and the reconstruct tool is let's say if I got this guy and, and I stretched out the nose but I didn't like it so I'm gonna go here and reconstruct it see I'm, I'm gonna take it back it actually allows you to take it back without having to go to the revert all or revert you can actually take the steps to um, to pull or restore that that part that you just did for example I just pulled out the ear twice and I go to the brush that reconstructs press here and here and it pulls it back you see that okay let's go on to the next one this one is called the twin clockwise tool now I think they're having a lot of fun with this because you you'll see what it does it just it just twists everything okay you see how it the top goes up and goes clockwise with a while the bottom of that eyelash goes down and clockwise and around so if you took this thing and just twist it all around you'll see some weird things happening see that and that's the twist clockwise okay boy we're having some really weird images appear here okay restore all back to where it was now we're going to go on to the next one and the next one is the pucker tool and that's basically what it does it 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 uh better word for it maybe pinch and so here let's say i'll pinch the nose and see how it's if I left my finger on the mouse, it'll continue pinching. It took the part where my cross, ma uh, cross mark is on the center of this brush and reduced the point of the nose. And I'm going to go back here and say restore. And I'm going to try to restore it. Maybe a few clicks here. And okay, that's, I probably can go more. No, that was last, last. Um, restoration no it actually one one more so anyway we did that we tried that one let's go on to the next one this one is called the come on up here here the bloat tool now basically that that's what it does it kind of balloons everything so if you're gonna put put your brush over uh, let's say the mouth it's gonna blow it and I'm clicking 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 actually you're act actually causing a the mouth to open here because you're there you go and then let's try the bloat on the nose you're getting that point of the nose a little more bulbous okay um, let's see what else can we do here uh, get the eyes a little bit bigger okay um that looks good to me <laughs> anyway you can see how much fun you can have with this thing i'm gonna go uh go and go back here and uh 
take this pinch tool or this uh, movement tool and kind of show you what I mean by making people thinner. You can actually get a person's cheeks and bring them in a little bit. And uh, you can cause a cleft uh, chin here, not a cleft chin, but a, yeah, I guess you can call it a cleft chin. Bring it in a little bit more here. Make it more realistic. Okay, so this guy's beginning to look like something else or someone else. And so we're going to restore everything back here because we want to talk about a, a couple of other features that you have to work with. And um, the next one is called the push left tool. See that? It pushes everything to the left. Push, push. Let's try it on the eye. Push, push. There you go. Then we have the next one called, come on, the mirror tool. Basically, it takes what you have on your right and moves it over to the left or vice versa I should say see that there's the eye wanting to come up here anyway as you can see you, you can do all kinds of strange things and make strange creatures Next one is called the turbulence tool. Basically, it just causes things to look It's kind of reminiscent to the first tool that one where you had a, like a finger pointing, but it's a little bit more um, uh, as, you, as you can see, I pulled from here, but yet this this was brought into the the fold here or in you're actually moving a little bit more with it okay so I'm gonna restore all and then I'm gonna go into the next one which is called the freeze mask and the thaw mask we'll talk about in a few minutes okay the freeze ma free mask is for example you want to mask off an area you spray it with this color you actually change the color if you want from red to yellow or whatever color over here on your right you can you can see that okay um, this eye I don't want anybody touching that eye so that's what the mask is for it's gonna hide certain areas of this face so that you could not touch it okay I'm gonna actually add a little bit more the only thing that I'm going to uh, allow my my brushes to affect are those areas that this red is not touching so I can actually go up here and get the pinch and start doing stuff, but then it stops right there. I can't go any higher than that. I can't pull. I can't pull the nose or anything. It just masks that area and it causes a um, a border that is not going to allow you to affect beyond that point. The hair, I can pull it from there, but I can't do anything in here, okay? Let's restore all. Let's remove the mask. You see the mask right here, it says none. You can actually take the mask off all at once right there without having to do any step backs on the top there. Now, um, if I had the mask on there, for example, I can use the second one to re take it off you know take those parts off now as you can well imagine the mask is used purposely or put in there purposely for those who people those people that are going to use this um, for photo retouching uh, and, and, and you can see how it could be uh, a good feature and why it's in there so anyway that's going to wrap it up for today I hope you had a little fun. Get in there on, on this uh, feature of Photoshop. Get in there and have some fun. Uh, 
kind of you know do some experimenting and uh you know even if you're going to just do it for fun you're still going to learn something and that's the main thing we're doing here is we're opening up a feature for you to look at investigate and i kind of get you started and you do the rest we'll talk to you like next time have a have a a good day and we'll have a ne another video at another time